In this video, I'll talk about crystalline structures and unit cells. A unit cell is the smallest repeating unit in the crystal structure. For example, you are looking at three cubic unit cells. This one is called simple cubic unit cell with eight atoms sitting at the eight corners of the cube. This one is called body-centered cubic unit with one additional atom sitting at the center of the cube. This one is so-called face-centered cubic unit. There are six additional atoms, each sitting at the center of a surface. So if you look at this square, this red atom is at the center of this square. And for this square, we have another atom here, and then another square, another atom, this square, this atom. On the bottom, you have this atom, and on this side, you have this atom. So six additional atoms on the six faces. I'm showing you the simple cubic, body-centered cubic, and face-centered cubic again. But this is a more realistic picture of the arrangements of the atoms. Again, atoms have finite size. Therefore, in this simple cubic unit cell, actually two neighboring atoms are close to each other. And really, it's the center of the atoms are sitting at the corner of the cube. In this body-centered cubic structure or body-centered cubic unit cell, there's one additional atom at the center of the cube, the orange one. And now face-centered. Again, there are six additional atoms, each at the center of one of the six faces of the cube. We're going to do some calculations. We'll calculate the packing efficiency for each of the three cubic unit cell. So you can see uh, within this cube, not all space is occupied by the atom. There is unused space, same here, and also same here. So we can compute the pack packing efficiency for each structure. First, let's review some three-dimensional geometry here. Uh, we're looking at a cube on the left-hand side with a edge length of 1. So this is 1, this is 1, because this angle is 90 degrees. The length of this face diagonal is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, therefore a square root of 2. Now let's look at this so-called body diagonal or internal diagonal. This diagonal line has a length of a square root of 3. This is because over here this angle is 90 degrees between this edge and this red diagonal. The angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, the length of this green body diagonal is the square root of 1 squared plus the square root uh, plus this square root of 2 squared. So it's going to be square root of 3. Uh, similarly, if the edge length is A, so A is uh, uh, just any uh, value of length, this face diagonal has a length of square root of 2 times A. This body diagonal or internal diagonal has a length of square root of 3 times A. So this is very important information. Now let's look at this uh, simple cubic lattice unit cell. Again, we're just looking at uh, one eighth of an atom at each corner. So we have eight corners and eight times one eighth of the atoms. Not only that, we have uh, other information about the edge length of the cube. So this is one atomic radius. This is uh, also one atomic radius. So you can see the edge length of the cube is simply 2 times the atomic radius. Again, you can look at this one, 1 radius, 2 radius. So again, 
the psi lens or the edge lens is A equals 2 times the atomic radius. Now we can compute the packing efficiency. First, we need to know the volume of this 8, 1 eighth atoms. So how much they actually occupy. And then we need to know what's the volume of the entire cubic unit. So on top, since we have uh, 1 eighth times 8, that's just one atom. And we say each atom has a spherical shape. And the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times r to the power of 3. So that's the, this is the volume of one atom. And then on the bottom, that's easy. If you have a cube, you have a times a times a. So that's a cubed. And a equals 2r. So therefore, on the bottom is 2r to the power of 3. That's 8r cubed. And then you see r cubed on top, r cubed on the bottom. So therefore, we cancel this r to the power of 3. We have 4 thirds times pi on top, 8 on the bottom. This is really simple calculation. We get 52% packing efficiency. So if you look at this simple unit cell or primitive unit cell, you'll see the atom actually occupies only 52% of the entire volume of this cube. It's not very efficient. Uh, this is more efficient. This is body-centered cubic structure. We have a atom at the center of the cube. But look, now these two atoms on the corners, there's some space in between. There's some space in between. So now it's uh, impossible to compute the silence by adding up this radius and this radius. This time, we'll have to look at the internal diagonal or the so-called body diagonal from the center of this atom, this one, the center of this one, to the center of the orange atom, and then to the center of the uh, gray atom on the opposite side. And that's going to be square root of 3 times the silence. Also, it's going to be one atomic radius plus two atomic radius plus another one atomic radius. So from this corner to the opposite corner, the distance is four times the atomic radius. Again, the orange atom contributes two atomic radius. This one contributes one, and there's another one. So a total of four. Four atomic radius is equal to the square root uh, is equal to square root of 3 times the edge length. So we have this equation. 4r equals square root of 3 times the edge length a. And then again, we're going to calculate the packing efficiency. We have actually two atoms in the cell. Uh, this orange is one atom. And then we have eight one eighth atoms on the corners. Therefore, we have two uh, atoms in the cell. So 2 times the volume of each atom divided by what's this? This is the edge length of the cube to the power of 3. So this is the volume of the cube. And then r to the power of 3 and r to the power of 3 cancel. On top we have 8 thirds times pi. On the bottom you just need to do a bit math. 4 to the power of 3 that's 64. Square root of 3 uh, to the power of 3 is 3 times square root of 3. We clean this up. We get square root of 3 times pi over 8. And then the result is 68%. So higher efficiency here. Finally, we'll talk about this uh, face-centered cubic structure. All right, we have now 6 atoms on the 6 surfaces. And then we have 8 atoms at the eight corners. So how do we compute the packing efficiency for this one? So this time we'll have to use the uh, face diagonal from here to here. All right, or from here to here. Well, because when we pack those atoms together in this face-centered cubic structure, notice this, from this corner to this corner, you have one atomic radius, two atomic radius in the middle, and another one. So you got four atomic radius together. 
b equal to square root of two times the edge length. So again, this is the face diagonal with a length of square root of two times the edge length, and that's equal to four r. Why four r? Four radius one, two, three, four. So we now know the edge length is two times the square root of two times r. So this is roughly two point eight two eight. This number. Uh, the packing efficiency is this four times the volume of one atom. Why four? Again, you have eight corner atoms, so eight times one eighth is one. And then you have six atoms on the surfaces. And actually, we can only count half of them, so it's going to be six times one half. That's three. Three plus one at the corner. That's four. So therefore, we have four atoms times the volume of one atom on top. On the bottom, we have the edge length to the power of three. And then we clean it up. The result is 74.05. And this 74% uh, is the highest packing efficiency we can achieve. So this is called closest packed structure. And in particular, this is a cubic structure. So we say this, cu this is cubic closest uh, packed structure. All right, so this is cubic closest packed structure. But there's another closest packed structure. It looks a little bit different. Where are the triangles in this face-centered cubic structure? Now, let's look at this orange, this orange, and this orange spheres. This three, maybe red, spheres form a equilateral triangle. And this gray ball sits on top of the center of this equilateral triangle. And also, this atom is fairly close to this gray one, this gray one, and this gray one. So this three forms a triangle as well. How about this three gray bars? That's another equilateral triangle. And then um, behind this three uh, red ones, there are three other red ones. It's also a equilateral triangle. So what you need to do is you kind of need to look at this face-centered cubic structure on top of the corner, from this corner to the opposite corner. And then you see many triangles. Again, there are two different types of uh, closest packed structures. Uh, this is a simplified uh, diagram that uh, shows you the difference. Over here, this is a hexagonal close packed structure, and we have ABA, so this A structure is the same as this A structure. And over here, this is a face centered cubic structure, also closest packed, but you have ABC. So this A layer is different from this B layer, this B layer is also different from this C layer. So now let's compare this top layer and this top layer. You can Tell that uh, you know this sphere sits on the top of the center of this three atoms. However, this guy sits on top of the center of the other three atoms. So that's the difference. Now let's work on some uh, practice problem. Uh, let's calculate the density of uh, rhodium. It's a, a heavy metal, a rhodium crystal with face center a cubic unit cell. Uh, here is the uh, rhodium atomic radius, 135 picometer. One picometer is 10 to the power of negative uh, 12 meters. And uh, this is um, also 10 to the power of negative 10 centimeters. Why did I use centimeter here? Uh, because in this question, I want you to compute the density in gram per cubic centimeter. So therefore, we want to convert picometer to centimeter. And also, I give you the uh, mass of the rhodium atom. It's uh, 103 AMU, atomic mass unit, or 103 gram per mole. However, this is the mass of one mole rhodium atoms. So you need to divide this uh, by Avogadro constant to get the mass of one single rhodium atom first. So uh, now I'm going to let you pause here and work on this uh, problem all by yourself first. Uh, pay attention here, this is a face-centered cubic unit cell. So there are four rhodium atoms. So you're gonna compute the mass of 
one rhodium atom by using 103 grams divided by 6 times 10 to the power of 23 and then multiply that mass by 4 because there are 4 rhodium atoms in this uh, face centered cubic unit cell. Again, remember there's a 1 uh, rhodium atom at the corner and uh, 3 rhodium atoms uh, on the surface, on the, on the 6 faces. All right, and uh, that's that. Also, we can compute the volume of the unit cell using this atomic radius, 135 pic picometer. And uh, now let me show you the answer. First, there are four rhodium atoms, so we're going to use four times the mass of one rhodium atom. It's here. It's 103 grams divided by this Avogadro constant. More and more cancel. The result is 6.84 times 10 to the power of negative 22 gram. Okay, this is a small number because we're talking about just only four rhodium atoms. Uh, now let's look at the volume of these four atoms. So it's going to be four times the volume of one atom. Uh, we're going to assume every single atom is a sphere. We're going to use the equation for the volume of a sphere. Four thirds times pi times r to the power of three. So we do the math and we have the radius here. It's given to you. It's 135 picometers. Therefore, it's 1.35 times 10 to the power of negative 8 cubic meter. Uh, that's the radius in centimeter. And we need to uh, um, uh, take this to the power of 3 and then multiply you know, those numbers. In the end, the uh, volume of the four rhodium atoms together is roughly 4 times 10 to the power of negative 23 cubic centimeter here. But that's this is not the volume of uh, the the cube or the the cube unit cubic unit this is just the size of one atom multiplied by four now what's the volume of the unit cell well very simple we learned that the packing efficiency is 74 percent so why don't we just use the size of one rhodium times four it's here divided by the packing efficiency and then we get the volume of the unit cell. Why is that? Very simple. It's because, again, the four atoms, four spheres, has this volume. Divided by the volume of the unit cell, we get 74%. We just need to rearrange this equation. We have the volume of the four atoms divided by the packing efficiency. That will give us the volume of the unit cell. So this is the volume of uh, one face centered unit cell and within this uh, unit cell there's a, a mass of 6.8 times 10 to the power of negative 22 gram so we use the mass divided by the volume we get the density so mass over volume the result is 12.3 uh, gram per cubic centimeter there's another way to get the volume of the unit cell. We're not going to do it this way, okay? This is one way to do it, but there's another way. The other way is we know it's a cube. So if we somehow get the edge length of the cube, we can calculate the volume. So what's the edge length? Again, let's look at this picture. The edge length here. Let's say this is A. Then the face diagon diagonal is square root of 2 times A. And it's also 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 atomic radius. So the edge length times square root of 2 is equal to 4R. Therefore, the edge length A is 4 divided by square root of 2 times the radius. That's just 2 times the square root of 2r. So again, we just use this equation to get the edge length. Over here, uh, let me show you the edge length is uh, 2 times square root of 2 times r. r is uh, 135 picometer or 1.35 times 10 to the power of um, negative uh, 8 centimeter. And, uh, and then we got this uh, edge length. And then the volume of the unit cell, because it's a cube, uh, we just need to have the uh, uh, edge length cubed. The result is uh, 5.56 times 10 to the power of negative 23 cubic meter. So this again is the volume of the cube. Let's look at the previous calculation. Same number, 5.56 uh, 
negative 23. 5.56, negative 23. So uh, both calculations are correct.